Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Royals of Games. Today in this video we are going over one of the best monitors available. Okay. But before I start, I want to tell you that on my recent build, I did a super budget gaming PC that can play almost any games and application in 2020 with high resolution and fast performance. So if you're interested in that, the video is right in my channel, uh, right here. $500 gaming PC build. I talk about everything, including I use the Game Diaz Talos E1 Mid Tower, which had two silent, super uh, cool RGB fans included in it, and glass door. A very very nice thing. Uh, I know you like it. I also use the B450DS3H gaming uh, motherboard and I use these types of RAM and DVGA power supply and Ryzen. You can watch more and learn more about it. I also do lots of videos on uh, monitors so you can go to my playlist and choose your monitor. My favorite one is this HP monitor P224 21.5 LED, the one I'm using right now. So if you're interested in that, watch that. But let's move on to today's video. Okay, so many people asked me to review this Asus B400, B450M Prime AMD AM4M ATX motherboard. What is MATX? That's mid tower. So you can install it in the case I showed right there. Okay, let's go ahead and look at it. So the monitor looks not that bad, it looks uh, actually decent for the price. It has an RGB stripe right here for the sound, which that's cool too. That's a uh, 4 RAM slot, it supports dual channel as you can see, uh, because it's gray and black, so you install your dual channel memory. If you have two stick, you have one of it in... Uh, black and the other one in black or one in gray and the other one in gray. Never put them next to each other. Okay. Um, so it supports the mouse and keyboard connection, one VGA and one DVI, one HDMI and USB, USB 3 it has and regular uh, input output microphone audio and a high speed LAN. So we can see that it supports RGB Fusion too, so you can connect your RGB stripe to it. It's Ryzen 3200 ready, so I believe you don't need to update your BIOS for a new Ryzen CPU. It may be needed, but mostly you don't need because it comes with, if you buy it from Micro Center, you don't need to update your BIOS for it. However, we can see this motherboard is powered by second generation AMD Ryzen processor. But they updated the BIOS so you can use it for your third generation, but it's still this is for second, a second generation motherboard. And you can use control your fans with it. You have two uh, smart fans. And again I told you up to 3466 uh, MHC Hz for your uh, memory and you can control it through here and let's look at some of the other so it has temperature and humidity test so it won't uh, dam be damaged under high temperatures and humidity therefore you can use water cooling on it and You also can do RGB on it and you can use a static greeting, different types of base, flash, RGB mode on it with the ASUS app. And we can see right here it supports uh, uh, Vega graphics so you can use integrated Ryzen CPU on it. So for example Ryzen 3200G which has an integrated Vega 8 graphics on it, you can use it. And you also can connect NVMe uh, 3.1 uh, PCI, so you can uh, expand your storage and very very fast speed. Some downside to this monitor is 
Uh, it doesn't have a Wi-Fi built into it, so you ha have to connect a Wi-Fi adapter to a PCIe. I have a review, uh, and I talked about this in my uh, Super Budget Gaming PC build, where I used the, I believe, a $14 Wi-Fi card uh, that is very good. I'm using it right now. It supports 5 GHz network and 2.4 GHz network and works perfectly similar to one of those couple hundred dollar Wi-Fi cards no problem with that and you get high an antenna on it it support you can connect it to this one through the PCIe slot right here this motherboard has two PCIe slots and uh, one so you can connect your Wi-Fi adapter you can connect something else and you also can connect your uh, graphics card but however uh, I, you can use this if you have it, if you bought it, it's perfectly fine, you can use it, but I recommend you get the Gigabyte B450 DS3H because this one is made for Ryzen 3, Ryzen 3rd generation. So I believe it's a little bit better to use the newer uh, motherboard which supports Ryzen three instead of using an older motherboard and updating the BIOS so if you use this one even later on when you for uh, perhaps fourth generation comes you can update this to fourth generation and you don't need to change your motherboard but this one you can't and that's all you can get it to today's technology. Uh, everything that this has this has to including what RGB stripe on it and everything else is the same and uh, Yes. Okay. If you have any question about this motherboard or the other one or about my super budget gaming PC, please go ahead and leave comment. I will answer as soon as possible. If not, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.